and understand why articulate students in Toronto will get paid more. So um, from my research, I found that articulate students in Toronto earn from like $35,000 um, Canadian dollars to $70,000 Canadian dollars. I was like, ooh. Some article students really earn seventy thousand dollars. That is nice. <laughs> Welcome to another exciting episode of Ask Mo. If you're watching my video for the first time, where have you been? Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Mo and I'm a lawyer licensed to practice law in the province of Ontario and also in Nigeria. I create content for internationally trained lawyers who are looking to requalify in Canada. I also create content for graduate students and for people who are looking to succeed as immigrants in Canada. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please 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 what are you waiting for kindly subscribe by clicking on the red button down below also turn on your notification bell so that you will be the first to know whenever i post new videos also like this video and share this video if you find it very helpful i also like to engage with my audience in the comment section so please make sure you do leave a comment this video isn't legal advice so please whatever i say in this video cannot be used as legal advice I would like to talk about a few things before we get right into the video. Uh, like you guys know, I give out a lot of general information on my YouTube channel and also in some of the articles that I write out. But if you still have very specific questions, you feel like this general information isn't cutting it. Like I, I still have you know specific questions, and you'd like to sit down one on one with me so that I can answer those questions and we can also strategize on the way forward. Um, you can book a one on one session with me, and uh, the link to do that will be. In in the description box. Also, if you're an internationally trained lawyer and you're looking to requalify as a lawyer in Canada and you haven't gotten my NTA setup pack, what are you waiting for? <laughs> the link to get uh, the NTA setup pack is in my description box. Having said that, let's get right into today's video. So I did a video about how much lawyers make in Canada and that video did very well. I think that is my um, most viewed video on YouTube. So if you haven't watched that video and you're watching this video right now, I will leave the link to that video in the description box. I'm sure there are people who are aspiring to become article students uh, and they would like to know how much article students make. And I'm sure there are just some of you who aren't even lawyers <laughs> and you do not even care about how much article students make but because you're very nosy you want to know how much article students make and I've also had you know people actually reach out to me to say yo um, you know do article students get paid um, am I going to be volunteering I have heard horrible stories about how much article students get paid but today we're going to be talking about all of that so I articled um, with the city of London uh, London Ontario not London UK and uh, I will also be sharing with you guys how much I got paid as an articling student as well. I'm going to start by defining what articling means. I remember when I got my articling position, some of my friends were like, wait, what do you do when you article? Do you just write articles? <laughs> I was like, no, we don't write articles. Articling is a placement that you have to do as a law student. Um, the law society requires, you know, every law student to article. And the point of this is for you to get tangible legal experience from your law firm or, um, you know, the legal department of wherever you article. So that once you get called to the bar, you know, you are fully equipped with the necessary legal skills and the legal knowledge that you need to take on the world as a lawyer. <laughs> yeah. So I articled with the City of London, London, Ontario uh, at the City Solicitor's Office and uh, at the City Solicitor's Office we have different departments. We have the POA, Employment Law, Real Estate, Civil, um, which other one, Planning and some other um, legal departments as well. So um, I liked that article in rotation because I got to go around different legal departments and experience different areas of law and at the end of the day I decided that I wanted to stick with civil litigation because I just like civil litigation. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you guys understand what um, articling means. There are several alternatives to articling such as getting an exemption or um, taking the law practice program. I have explained some of these um, alternatives to articling in my previous videos. I will leave the link to those videos in the description box so that um, for those of you who are interested in what you can watch and catch up. Another question people always ask me is should I article 
or get an exemption or should I do the law practice program? The law practice program is a fantastic program. I know I'm not getting paid to advertise this program, but I know a couple of people who have taken it and they have said good things about the program. So in case you are struggling to get an articling position or you just can't find an articling position, do not kill yourself. It's not the end of the world. You can always take the law practice program. Now, I also have people ask me, should I get exempted from articling? And my advice will be, if you can get an articling position or do the law practice program, please, please, please do that and don't get an exemption. And I'll just be honest with you guys and tell you guys um, one trend that I have noticed. So I've noticed that a lot of internationally trained lawyers um, come to Canada, take the NCA exams, um, write the bar exams, and they find it very difficult to get an articling position. And because of this, they get exempted. After they get exempted, they're unable to get a job. And as a result of this, they end up starting their own law firms or they end up leaving the legal profession in general. Because an employer who is going through your resume, um, you know, and doesn't see any legal experience in Canada, will be very, very reluctant to hire you as a lawyer. So articling is that time to get legal experience. The point is, if you have the opportunity to article, please article because it just really helps you. And for me, I feel like it changes the game. And you just, you know, you get a lot of experience when you article. Now, having said that, I know people who have said that during my articling placement, I was only running copies of documents. I was only um, typing documents. I wasn't being given any, you know, real and tangible work to do. People have different experiences, but for the most part, articling students are always overworked. They put you to good use <laughs> and you learn a lot. And from my experience, I would say I learned so much while I was articling. Now let's get to the juice of this video and why you guys are really here. I just had to lay some ground rules and also give some background information. Anyways, um, how much did I get paid as, a, as an article student? I got paid $43,935. Hold up and 63 cents <laughs> and i articled for 10 months and that was how much i made for six thousand nine hundred and thirty five dollars and 63 cents please know that that amount was subject to statutory deductions such as federal income tax um canadian pension plan employment insurance and some other miscellaneous deduction um which reduced the amount you know i ended up taking home so at the end of the day I'm not sure how much I ended up taking on board. It was significantly less because um, of the statutory deductions. I also had to pay for my bar exams and I had to pay my articling fee. I have done a video where I broke down how much you know it cost me to requalify as a lawyer. I'll put the link to that video in the description box just in case you're yet to watch that video. So I will not be telling you how much those things cost, but I had to pay for those things and they were very expensive. I also want you to know that articling salaries differ in different cities. Now, um, the articling salary in London is much more lower than the articling salary in uh, Toronto and uh, I can understand why right because um, the standard of living in Toronto is much more higher than the standard of living in London houses are cheaper rents uh, is cheaper in London as uh, opposed to Toronto so I can understand why articling students in Toronto will get paid more so um, from my research I found that articling students in Toronto earn from like $35,000 um, Canadian dollars to $70,000 Canadian dollars. I was like, ooh, some article students really earn $70,000. That is nice <laughs> because I know some first year lawyers earn $70,000 as well. And I also remember some of the articling ads that I saw because um, when I was at U of T, they would send us um, uh, advertisements for different articling positions and they will have the salary there. For most of the articling ads that I saw, the salary was $50,000. For you know the 10 month placement. So I think I would just say that the average articling salary in Toronto is about fifty thousand dollars. And always remember that this amount is subject to statutory deductions. And if you have to pay your bar exams or articling fee by yourself, you know, um, you also have to remove that from the salary. 
as well. Now there are some law firms or some provinces, whatever, that cover these fees. So some article students don't even have to pay, um, you know, for the bar exam or the article fees by themselves. Some law firms actually cover these for the article students. There's also something I'd like to point out. Remember that I said that um, law firms in Toronto um, pay more than law firms in London or in other smaller cities. The truth about it is that although they pay more, huh, article students in Toronto or like in other big law firms work long hours crazily long hours so in my case as an article student i worked for 35 hours uh, per week and i can count how many times i had to work extra hours right because i was also studying for my bar exams and my um the lawyers i worked for were very understanding but in toronto <laughs> you're going to be working for really really long hours i remember there's this uh friend she was working with you know one of these bay street law firms and she told me that on sunday she was going to church she was already looking snazzy you know ready to praise the lord <laughs> and she was heading to church and she got a text from a partner a uh, you know at her law firm saying that i need you to be at work now literally she had to turn back from church and go to work you know because a partner needed her to be at the law firm so although they get paid more they work really really long hours some of them work until midnight some of them work on weekends some of them work i did a research and i heard that some of them work between 35 to 50 hours and some of them even work more hours than these so by the time you actually um deduct the statutory deductions and you actually add up all the hours they work I swear, it feels like they're making minimum wage. I'm not joking. Because Toronto is such an uh, expensive place to live in and you have to pay expensive rent. By the time you break out all the hours you're working and by the time you just calculate everything, you see that it's not even worth it. And it's almost like you're, you're earning minimum wage, you know, because of all the hours you're working. So you have to consider all these factors when, um, examining how much article students make now i'm not trying to advocate <laughs> for article with the city or with a smaller firm but i'm just saying you know that these are some of the factors you have to consider when you're looking for an article position so i have a list with me of how much um some law firms pay their article students and i'm just going to be going through my laptop so that we can um just go through this number the so first law firm i have with me here is um M N P L L P. Um, that's a law firm in Toronto, and they pay their article students about forty-four thousand uh, six hundred and twenty dollars Canadian dollars. I also have the um, Ministry of the Attorney General. They pay well at the ministry. <laughs> yeah, uh, and they pay their article students about sixty thousand Canadian dollars. I have the Ministry of Attorney General. Another, you know, obviously the Ministry has several departments. This is another department at the Ministry of the Attorney General's office, and they pay their article students about sixty-nine thousand Canadian dollars. I also have here Blake. Um, it's I know it's one of the top law firms in Toronto, and I see here that they pay their article students about. 82,000 um, Canadian dollars. That is nice. <laughs> yeah, I have here Miller Thompson. They pay their article students 54,000 Canadian dollars. I have here with me Legal Aid Ontario. Um, they pay their article students about 56 um thousand canadian dollars and all these firms i'm reading out to you guys they are based in toronto so these firms are based in toronto which explains why they have very high numbers so i just went through a list of law firms with you just to give you guys um an idea of the numbers and how the numbers differ with uh different law firms anyways always remember to put um all the things i have mentioned previously into consideration especially if it's a Bay street law firm or if it's a um top law firm i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed recording the video for you guys if you still have very specific questions like i said and you like to sit down with me so that we can have a one-on-one -on -one session please you can book um a strategy call with me by clicking on the link in my description box if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel please please uh, please <laughs> click on the subscribe button and subscribe also like and share this video and i will see you guys in my next video bye